Howdy folks, it's Adriel the Hunting Gear Guy. I want to talk about charging flashlight batteries, as odd as that sounds. It's just a, an area where uh, there's lots of different technologies out there, and I want to kind of rip through them like rapid fire kind of thing. So I'm going to do some chop style editing to uh, show the difference between some of these. Uh, and we'll just start uh, right away with uh, the first kind of rechargeable battery, which is you take the stupid thing out. This is an 18650. It's about medium size compared to the 21700, which is uh, gaining in popularity. It's uh, not quite as thick and uh, not quite as long either. So these ones hold generally, like you see on the side there, 5,000 milliamp hours. These ones are generally like 3,000, 3,200, 3,400 kind of a thing. So a lot more power in these guys compared to these guys. But in any case, to charge one of these things in an older flashlight that doesn't have any charging built into it, you've got to use a wall adapter of some kind, like we used to when we were kids and we had to charge our rechargeable uh, uh, Hot Wheels and all that kind of stuff. So that's option one. You, you take the battery completely out and use the charger. Option number two, and you'll find this on this Gen 1 HC60 that I've got here, is a micro USB charging port. So this one's got one right on the side there. You'll recognize it kind of looks like a, a, a mini HDMI. Um, this used to be the way that a lot of stuff was run. Cell phones kind of ran this as a standard, and it was kind of a, it was pretty ubiquitous for cell phones, for charging, and all that kind of stuff. If you look at some uh, lower quality battery banks, they'll use uh, micro USB for uh, for charging as well. Uh, but this is like on its way out and uh, you should try to, well, it depends on what you're trying to do. I think that trying to standardize on uh, a newer standard like USB-C uh, might be the way to go. Now when it comes to USB-C charging inside of a flashlight, there's a couple different ways of doing that. There's a Claris X-T2 CR Pro and with this one you just kind of Pick up that rubber there, take it out of the way, and there's your USB-C port uh, just on the side. So pretty handy way of charging. It's still the same kind of battery inside. It's still just an 18650, though the uh, uh, milliamps on this one is more than on that pink one. There's a 3100, um, which is pretty standard. A lot of these, um, especially if you get like the Chinese ones, they'll say like 4,000, 5,000 milliamp hours. No, nah, nothing even close. So um, reasonable on this guy here. And in fact, if we were to look on uh, the Gen 2 version of this Nightcore HC60, we would see the same idea. Now we've got that USB-C port. We've also got a tethered cap, which is kind of nice. I did momentarily lose that other cap dropped into a box. Uh, not that you really need it, but it is nice to be able to seal it up, right? And the last version I want to mention is the one that Phoenix uses, and this is a charge on the battery itself. So you're still taking the battery out, but you can just charge it right there. This one, as you can see, uses a micro USB, while their bigger 21700 battery uses a USB-C charging port on it. Now that takes us to the realm of uh, non-USB standard uh, chargers, like Olight has their, uh, their charger, but even it's like, it's not super standard, like this one here is actually made for this light here. It works on it, it won't work on that other flashlight because small differences in sizing and packaging and that kind of thing. Now, if you want to entertain me while we get really wild here, uh, you can take a regular battery like this and you can find these little adapters as well that will yep, turn your cell into a USB compliant charger. Uh, and this kind of thing is handy for camping and that kind of thing. This is actually a two-way. So if I wanted to, I could charge this battery like this or I could charge out with this. Uh, that makes for some interesting dual use purposes out of something like this. Uh, if you were camping, this could be your flashlight and, and you just wanted to carry like, maybe this would be all you need. Maybe this goes into your flashlight and that's your flashlight battery and it's your charging for your phone. And maybe it's even your uh, light for, uh, for minor things around the campsite. Uh, that's all possible as well. Now, I don't mind uh, micro USB, especially when you're just going from home and that kind of thing. If you were to go ultralight hiking and you wanted to keep things bare minimum as possible, uh, you would probably go with USB-C because USB-C is just more standard. Uh, you're starting to see some really small uh, charger or battery banks like this uh, NC10000. It just has one port, one port in and out. And just like that other adapter I showed you there, that's it. 
in and out USB C. You can get if you if you're using iPhone, you can get a C to Lightning, or just get one of the Android phones that all use USB C. Or wait for Europe to complain and they'll force Apple to put USB C on those uh, on those iPhones. But uh, uh, it's starting to become a little bit more ubiquitous. I like USB C in terms of like it's it doesn't matter which side it goes on. It's a little bit less uh, uh, fragile than you than micro USB. And uh, you get fast charging and that kind of thing out of it as well. Some of these flashlights will support fast charging uh, on the flashlight, some of them uh, with the battery out. Um, an important thing to consider with that fast charging, just while we're on that topic, fast charging is great, but you don't get it for the whole charge. You only get it for the first bit. So like if, if the battery's at zero and you fast charge it, you'll get like really good charge up to like 75% and then it's gonna slow down after that. So. You're not going to get that full, like, full juice the whole way through. So you may not need to worry about it that much. It is nice when you have it, though. Um, it is nice to, for, like, juicing your phone from, like, 15 to 50% like that. And uh, it is a nice feature. So which of these flashlights would I rather recharge? To be honest, the only one I don't really like recharging is the one that requires the adapter because i got to find the stupid thing. As long as it uses a USB cable somewhere either uh, in like a, a cable that I plug in inside on the battery or a covered port or something like, like that they're all pretty similar uh, I just think that uh, USB C is nice if you're going to go hiking and you want to just like minimize your cables that you need uh, but if you're working from home and or and you just need to charge up a battery and then head out and you're not going to need to recharge it it doesn't really matter any of those will be fine any of them will work and uh they all really do the same thing. Thanks for watching.